This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Who will pick up? Anyone who will pick up? Thank you. Wow. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at, before we get into the actual review of top-notch truckers, I just want to say the first interactions with the recruiter wasn't all that hot. So I said to myself, let me go ahead and give him another try. Maybe we was on the wrong page or we didn't come off on the right foot, I guess. But before we get into all of that, I want to start by rewinding back to the initial uh, suggestion for this call. I'm in a lot of SAP groups, right? And a lot of drivers like to come in and give their opinions on companies that's offering opportunities for SAP drivers. I come across these companies and I would like to get the information out there to them, you know, because what these drivers are looking for, they're looking for the opportunity to do their RTD status. Not as much as steps one through five, but step six is the one that they need the companies to help them with their return to duty testing. They need a company to send them to the testing so they can you know, complete step six so they can get out of the SAP program. And there's a, a handful of companies that will offer to help you with step six. So this driver right here, uh, I, I, I can't pronounce his name, so I'm just going to call him Driver K. He says, another good company that hires SAP is Top Notch Truckers out of Orlando, Florida. He says one he says $1,750 weekly plus performance bonus of $250 for safe driving. And of course, you can use him as a refer as a referral, but the thing that caught me was the fact that he says that this is a company that hires SAP drivers. Of course, you'll find out if they do hire SAP drivers when we get into the call. So, of course, this is his pay, which is, this is his settlement, which is not bad. You know, he, he clears about two grand, look like every week, just about. But see what Driver K fails to say that this company only hires for team drivers, okay? So let's jump on Top Notch Truckers' website. And their website is pretty clean, pretty good. I was able to find, you know, find that their website is pretty informational. And on this website, it also lets you know that they only hire team drivers. But it says in case you don't have a co-driver, they will be happy to assign one for you. Doing the rest of the research, I come to find out that they're not only located in Orlando, Florida, but they do have a terminal in Ohio. And I was like, okay, looking pretty good. You know, Ohio, Florida, okay. But you'll be getting your truck and orientation out of Orlando, Florida, okay? On their website, which is pretty clean, it's pretty cut and dry. The website pretty much explains to you what the minimum requirements are, how much team drivers are able to make every week, uh, it breaks down the bonuses, the responsibilities, and the qualifications. Unfortunately, they don't accept SAP drivers. So let's continue our research of 
top-notch truckers by going to the reviews, okay? You got to take it with a, gain, with a grain of salt, all right? On here, their reviews is pretty, pretty damn good. 4.7 stars. So the company sounds like a good company, except for one, this driver. This driver says, please, guys, if you're thinking about coming to this company, don't. It says fraud, lies, and they will take your money that will, I mean, that you will work for. They will make you drive in PC even though their trucks are not good. Now, a response from the company says, good afternoon. Please state your first and last name so that we know who you are because wrong postings are a reason for lawsuit on defamation. Hmm. Okay. A uh, couple of one stars, couple of one stars. Now here's where it goes into the more promising reviews. Driver C says it is pretty good company to work for. I have no problems with them. I've been working here for two years, plus they are great. Of course, every company has its pros and cons, but this company, there are more pros than cons. They keep you moving. The pay is great. I love all of the bonuses. Driver R says, Top Notch is a good company to start your career. The staff are very helpful. And communications always get paid on time. And that's all I can say. Now, I wish I could say the communication between me and the first recruiter was all that hot, but let's move on. Driver K. So this is the same guy that was in the Facebook group. He says, honestly, honestly, one of the few rare gems in the trucking business Good company to work for, Steady Miles. Company came back and says, thank you, Driver K. We appreciate the hard work and the commitment on the road. Driver M says, one of the best companies I ever worked for. Driver J says, I can honestly say that I set my roots with this company. They put my safety first, which lets me make it home. To my family safe, amazing crew from top to bottom. Trucking is not an easy job, but they make it the best it can be. I am proud to be a top-notch trucker. And the response from the company says, Thank you, Driver J. We appreciate you on the team. Driver K said the name of the company speaks for itself. Hardworking team from the boss straight to the dispatch. So if you're a good driver with a clean record and you're in the top notch category, you will love this company. Favorable reviews, right? Favorable reviews. You're able to find the company on the website. Let's see what they say for score has to say. Top Notch Truckers. They're located out of Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Now, let me stop right there. The, the terminal where you'll be going for your orientation and picking up the trucks will be in Orlando, Florida. Okay. So it says here that they have 109 vehicles with 190 drivers, all right? Let's go to their unsafe driving. Failure to obey traffic control, which is 11. Basically what that is, is that the way stations was open and the drivers didn't go in. Uh, lane restrictions, seven, meaning, you know, they didn't maintain their lanes. Using a cell phone while driving, Four drivers got caught for that. Uh, speeding, six miles. Speeding, 11 miles. Speeding, 15 miles. 
and speeding in a construction zone. Uh, a couple of drivers, one driver from that, uh, failure to obey traffic control of device again, meaning that they didn't go into the way station. So that makes was that that makes 13 all together uh speeding through a construction zone i mentioned that uh unlawful parking meaning that they parked on the shoulder which they wasn't supposed to be and testing while driving which makes five for use of cell phone in the hand while they was driving Overall, it's it's not so bad. I mean, they 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 two uh main categories is the cell phone and the uh, and the and the way station. Overall, it's it's not it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Well, let's let's see what their uh hours of service is looking like. So as far as hours of service goes. Uh, failure to uh, report driver's records on duty status three, uh, ELD not mounted. Oh, come on, y'all gonna y'all y'all gonna have a pissy fit because my ELD is not mounted. Oh, okay. Um, false record of duty status. Improper use of personal convenience exceptions. In other words, they probably didn't put the reason why they was in personal convenience, which means that you have to put down a reason, a valid reason to why you're in personal convenience. And they only and only two drivers. So it, it don't look like it's a it's a common theme over there. Now, the one driver, she said that they make you drive in PC, but I don't know. I mean, only two drivers got caught in PC. So that's that's not a bad variance. Uh, driver fell into maintain ELD manual, meaning they didn't have one on them. Uh, driver failure to maintain instruction sheet, same thing, probably the same driver. Uh, driver failed to manually add trailer number, but you have to have the trailer number and the paperwork number assigned to the ELDs. So overall, it's 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 not a they they don't have a bad report they don't have a bad report and they got a a, a plethora of good reviews so if you want to know how the conversation between me and the first recruiter went stay tuned <laughs> i know i know this number is down in florida but do you guys have a a terminal in Ohio? Uh, we, I'm not sure about it, sir. I'm sorry? I am not sure about the terminal in Ohio. And uh, can you please call me from your phone number so that I know who I was talk I'm talking to? Because right now, I don't see your phone number. Lock out me in here. And here's where it goes downhill from here. It's there a particular reason why I need to show you? I, I could tell you the phone number if you need it. Okay, that's okay. Are you? Okay. Are you the driver looking for a job? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm I'm a driver. Yes, just doing my research. I came across one of the drivers. I guess they drive for you because they showed the settlement what they're making. Um, are you guys SAP fair, uh SAP friendly? Do you guys uh accept? SAP drivers? Uh, no. No. Lock out me in here. So, right here, when she said no, it kind of threw me off because the young man in the Facebook group says that they did accept SAP drivers. Okay. Um, well, that was one of the 
things that the young man said in the in the Facebook group that that you guys do accept sub drivers, but but you don't. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I can barely hear you. We don't. Uh, how much experience do you guys require? Uh, and what's your experience, sir? Eight years, but how how much do you guys require? At least six months. Since you guys don't accept SAP drivers, we'll show pre-employment drug screening. Is it hair follicles or urine or both? Do we do what? I'm sorry. When I come on for drug screening, what what is it? Hair follicles or urine or both? That's super strange questions. Lockout men here. So that's a strange question. That is not a question that us drivers need to ask. I ask that question all the time. So why is that question is strange? That is something that we need to know, right? I'm confused. But of course, the downward spiral continues. It, okay. I'm sorry. I have someone else on the phone. Can you please call me back? I'm sorry. I will. I'm, I have someone else coming to me. I need to reply just a second, sir. Can you please call me back in an hour? In an hour. Lockout me in here. So she says that somebody was calling in one breath. And then in another breath, she says somebody's coming to her and she needs to reply. So I just started right here, just started getting the feeling that she didn't want to talk to me anymore. That's correct. I, I guess I just get the feeling that you don't want to talk to me for some reason. I'm not sure about it, sir. Can you please call back in an hour? And ask for you or Thanks. ask for some... Okay, can I ask you, is there somebody anyone else? Anyone who will pick up. Anyone who will pick up. Thank you. Wow. Lockout me in here. So, as you guys can hear, we got disconnected i'm not sure maybe it was because of the questioning i guess we're i mean on the website right it says if you have any questions give us a call and we'll be happy to answer them so i'm not sure what was the animosity here like do you do all potential drivers that way of course i felt some kind of way but i stopped myself and i said wait a minute maybe Maybe we got off on the wrong foot, okay? Let me try again. Let me see if I can get another recruiter to see if we can have a better uh, conversation. And in the next segment, we did. You know, I, I got a hold of the safety lady and me and her had a pretty good conversation. Let's let's see let's hear how that went I, I guess i don't know how to feel right now but i called in this morning because i saw a driver talking about you guys in one of our facebook groups he was saying how good you guys okay. was and i okay. said I, I took it upon myself to give you guys a call to see what you guys are about but when i tried to talk to somebody in the recruiting department they was very condescending and rude to me. I I just want okay, to. What kind of questions you gave it, and what kind you you gave it, and what kind what kind of question you have actually? Okay. Uh. Well, thank you. Um. Well, the young man that's in the group. Uh. I'm not sure if he's still a driver with you or not, but his name is uh, Kos Kasi K O S S I. Um, okay. and he was just, he was just saying that you guys hire SAP drivers and we not, we not, sir. We don't have a, such a program. We are not doing that. I am a safety manager. Yes. From the safety part, I am giving a hundred percent my words. We not doing that, sir. Gotcha. Gotcha. You guys are located out of Florida, at least. I'm calling the Florida office, but when I was doing yeah. my research, um, you guys have an office out of Ohio? 
Yes, we do. But the, all all our trucks here, all our drivers coming here to pick up the trucks. Sir. Oh, so you guys do have an Ohio office? Okay, that's great because I'm out of yeah. Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. I know, but uh, all the drivers are supposed to come here, sir, Orlando, Florida. We're not doing the receiving the drivers over there. What's the experience you guys require? I I got eight. I am I am taking I am taking six months plus, sir. It should be team company drivers. You guys have to be able to be on the work uh, on the road the minimum four weeks. You cannot do three weeks, three and a half, four weeks. You and your co-driver. Okay. Trucks has to be dropped to the location which you guys pick it up, which is Orlando, Florida, sir. I am paying twenty one hundred per driver per week, sir. Okay. So you looking for team drivers? Yeah. Not not solo yes, drivers. Sir. Um, we're not doing solo, sir. What's okay for a pre employment drug screening, what do you guys uh do down there? Hair follicles and urine or both, since you don't take SAP drivers? Well, uh, we're not doing hair, sir. Gotta be out for four weeks, so that's a month, and we get twenty one hundred yes. we get twenty one hundred dollars a week per driver? Yes, sir. Ooh, awesome. yes, sir. Uh is that per mile or is that a flat rate? Lockout man here. After I asked this question right here, we got disconnected. So I wasn't sure is the disconnection was because of my signal or because she hung up. And I don't think she hung up. So I'm just going to say that it was probably my signal. We just, the call just dropped. All right. Of course, I got her back on and we finished out the good conversation that we was having. Let's go. What kind of trucks are you guys offering? What, what what trucks I'll be looking at, me and my co-driver? It's going to be Freightliners and Woolworths, sir. Okay. Do they have cameras in there? Yes, in and out. The cameras has to be on, inside and outside. All right. Can we bring a pet with us or no? What is that? A pet. A dog, cat, a pet. No, we don't have a pet policy. Uh, benefits. Wouldn't And when do they start? We're not doing benefits, sir. I am already paying twenty one hundred, sir. Oh, okay. So this is ten ninety nine. Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm assuming no sign on bonus either. And we don't have a sign in bonus yet. We okay. Didn't do it yet. We're not doing that. Yeah. Okay. Um, my last question, mm -hmm. and thank you very much for your time. Um, being that this is ten ninety nine, is this lease to purchase or? Lease as no, a company. it is the team company drivers, sir. Le team company drivers. We don't have a lease to purchase. Team company drivers. Team company only. drivers only. Okay. Well, yes. hey, thank you very much. Uh, I really do appreciate okay. that you took the time out sure. with me. Uh, top notch drivers out of Florida. All I can say is if I was to consider top-notch drivers based on the conversation that I just had with the first recruiter, it will possibly be a no, a negative. And I'll tell you why. Because when I, I don't know the... The first recruiter just, just don't know. My phone number don't show up. And wonder why it don't show up because when you call these recruiters, your number goes into a system, right? Calling companies and doing my research, the number that I call from don't show up. She wanted me to call back and show the number. I said, well, I'm calling from a work number and the number don't show up all the time. So, but I, I said, I would give you my number. I would give you the number if that makes a difference. 
So she was like, nah, okay, no problem, let's go, as you guys heard. So I asked about the SAP program because the guy that was in the group saying that this was a good company, and I'm reading from I'm I'm reading verbatim here. He says that this is a good company that hires SAP drivers and they're out of Florida, Orlando, Florida. So it doesn't say nothing else. He also says, give them a call and use his name as a, as a referral. So at the time when I called the first recruiter, I, I couldn't remember his name because I didn't have, I didn't have it. I thought it was a guy or a girl, but I thought the conversation would still be good. So of course you guys heard, I went into my spiel and and yeah it it just didn't go good at all i i just felt that she was condescending she was rude very rude like i mean this is how you treat all of your prospective drivers that that calls the to find out about top notch are are you are are you that uh that rude to a prospective driver that's that's interesting to see what you guys have to offer what you guys got to hide maybe we got off on the wrong foot so i called back i got the young lady from the safety department so she's the safety person good person to talk to if you can't get a hold of of a recruiter the next best person to talk to, if not the HR director, would be a person in safety because they'll pretty much have a good idea of some of the answers to your questions. Besides, the safety department would also be the ones that gives the thumbs up or thumbs down for you to come in anyway. So I got a hold of the safety lady, and I must say, it was kind of good. I mean, I, I enjoyed the conversation, but with her, I kind of felt that I was rushed. Now, the big thing is, is that they don't take SAP drivers. Uh, she's a safety director, and she says right off the rip that they don't offer that program. So I, uh, again, I don't understand why the young man in the Facebook group uh, says that they that they do maybe they did at one time but they probably changed it recently i guess i don't know another good thing is is that when i was doing my research i noticed that they have an office or a, a terminal in columbus ohio and i wasn't sure if that was the same people but she said yes they do have a terminal in Ohio, but you have to come down to Orlando, Florida for the orientation. Um, of course, drug screening is urine. Uh, we didn't go into as far as orientation and how you would get down there. I'm going to assume that they would get you down there and orientation shouldn't last that long. Uh, this is a 1099 team driving position. Again, going back to the young man in the in the Facebook group, he didn't mention anything about being a team driver. The young lady did say that um, she's offering twenty one hundred dollars, and it sounds like it's flat for two drivers. But she expects you to be out for four weeks before you go home. Not two weeks, not three weeks. She wants you out there on the road for a total of four weeks. You'll be driving either a Volvo. I'm, I'm going to say Volvo. They do have Cascadias, but I'm going to say Volvo. You, you probably might end up in a Volvo. Uh... They do have cameras in the truck, driver facing cameras. They don't have pet policy. So you, of course you can't bring your pet. No sign on bonus. 
and it's ten ninety nine. Yes, ten ninety nine. Company drivers, co drivers, team driving position, and that's what they're looking for right now. Team driving positions. So I guess you and a co-driver that you're going to have to coexist with is going to have to do teams. And between y'all two, y'all get $2,100 a week. Top-notch truckers out of Orlando, Florida. Guys, what do you guys think of the call? Let us know how you feel about the call in the comments below. If you guys drive or driven for top-notch uh, truckers out of Orlando, Florida, let us know of your experience. How do they treat you over there? Do they treat you good? Do, do they at least treat you good over there? Are you making money over there? Let us know in the comments below. Drivers, get your suggestions in for the next call review. If you like to get that in, you could do that one of three ways. You can hit me up in the Gmail. That's Lockout Man Podcast Guest at gmail.com. As always, you can leave it in the comment section. And if you like to support the cause, you can leave it in the Cash App. Dollar sign, Lockout Man. In the notes, let us know who you would like for us to look at. And we will give you a shout out for that call. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?